God. Ballistic. I mean ballistic. Can't you go away from the boat if you're still gonna do all that? Give up, please. Please. That's a giant. I ain't caught one that big here. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Give up, please. Please. Just dogging down there. Think she wanted that 20, she's bleeding bad. Golly Moses. And that's another thing I need to tell you, it was like it was meant to be. That, that fish was bleeding profusely. It ate, the, it swallowed the 20 plus. I had to dig it out and it was just red blood, I mean dark red blood running down the fish, got all over me, got all over my carpet. And the fish was actually changing colors before I ever got it in the live well. And I took, I culled a fish and I took all my fish and I put them in one live well and I put this fish in the other live well. I put a cap of uh, catch and release in there and I dumped about a half a bag of ice in there and I just shut it and I never looked at it again for about 20 minutes and I really expected the fish to be dead. And I opened that live well up in about 20 minutes and that eight pounder was sitting there looking at me and I said, whoa, thank you. And I won by four ounces. If that fish had died, Scroggins would have had a big stringer and we'd have tied and he'd have won the tournament and he would have had the record. I didn't know that I could still win on this level, and I, and I think that I think that that's something that, that's probably the most I'm gonna get out of this is the fact that I was doubting my abilities because I'd been so long, and I'd been, I'd done a lot of stupid things, and I'd lost, I'd lost the lead, certain, you know, two or three times when I felt like I could have won a tournament. And I just, I, I thought I didn't know how to close the deal again, you know. And, and to, win, to win that tournament gave me a confidence level that, that I believe I can carry with me several more years now. These jelly worms have been out in the sun, they're getting real soft. Tender morsel, Lake Falcon special. <laughs> 12 inch, man, the jelly worm. Looking them on one hook, I don't get too, I don't get too worked up, you know. I mean, you can, you can still lose them, but that crankbait stuff gets to you. Come on, there he is. Oh, golly! <laughs> oh, god! How big is that? Oh, that's a fat one. That is a fat maw. She jumped by the boat. Oh, she's gonna. Golly, that might be the biggest one. Look at this. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Give up, please. Please. Just dog it down there. Uh-uh, uh-uh. That's the biggest one yet. Oh, mercy, mercy, mercy. Sure, I'm glad I went to that six old hook. That's a giant. I've really been, uh, something's been happening with me spiritually. Uh, over the past month, and, I, and I, I was reading a little Jesus Calling book every morning, and it just like every message that I was getting out of that book was telling me something was going to happen, you know. And it, it was just one of those blessed weeks, you know, that you just, you know, that God stuck His hand down there and patted me on the shoulder and said, "Your turn, buddy." I've had the best fishing tournament fishing day of my career. 
It was, it was just totally amazing. God bless Paul today. Well, you know, I mean, it's great to have it, and I'm glad that someone that's been doing it as long as I have, you know, one of the older guys, I'm glad that, I'm glad I'm carrying that record. That's one of the main reasons I'm glad I'm carrying that record. And, and, and uh, I mean, I'd love for it to never be broken, but, but I'm sure it will be. And, and heck, I'm, look, I'm looking forward to going back to Falcon and trying to break it myself.